if you're using Claude Code, one of the most important features that they have provided to us is something called skills. And I wanna show you how you can create your own skill and actually use it to elevate your Claude Code coding. So a skill is basically a directory that has a skill.md file. And that skill.md file basically has a description of when the LLM should kick in and use it. And it does something called progressive disclosure. So if the LLM doesn't know how to do something, it first looks at all your skills that are set up in your Claude folder. And it looks through these skill.md files. And then these skill.md files can point to more documentation, can point to different scripts, and really teach Claude code how to run different things. And I think the best way to show you what a Claude skill is, is let's actually just build one. Let's try to see if we can build one live together on this channel, and maybe you guys can learn about it. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and just ask Composer1 to build us out a really simple skill. And what I wanna do in this skill is I want to allow me to tell Claude code to scale down a video. I wanna scale down a video using FFmpeg, from 1080p down to like 720p and also four was it 440p or something like that. Now the way I like to code is doing iterative coding. Some people like doing huge plans and waiting for 10 minutes for this to finish, but I'm gonna do iterative coding. I think it's more entertaining. Can you create me an initial Claude code skill, which we can use to basically teach Claude how to use FFmpeg to scale down a 1080p video into smaller versions of that video, like 720p and 4. ADP. Now we'll see how this does. Sometimes I'll actually grab the entire like documentation of how you can write your own skill. In fact, I'll just stop it now. I'm going to add this in as a reference so it can kind of get more information about how to do this. All right, so you see it's making a dot Claude folder. We have some skills and inside of that we have all the different skills of this project. You can install skills globally on your Claude like instance or you can install it per, per project, right? So we just made a skill over here that teaches Claude code how to basically use FFmpeg to take a video and to scale it down. Now from a surface level, this isn't too impressive. We just have an MD file that explains how to use FFmpeg. Big whoop, right? What are we saving here? You could have created a slash command for this. You could have created a sub agent for this. Overall, like everything is just built around MD files and context at this point. A skill just allows Claude code to basically dive into it and start using it. Now, the cool thing about this is let's say you actually had some custom scripts here. Like let's make a scripts folder. And then I'm gonna reprompt composer to kind of split this down into using a progressive disclosure approach. And I'll kind of talk about it as well. Can you please break this skill MD file into using progressive disclosure? I wanna keep this skill MD as slim as possible. And then I want you to have another MD that explains how to run a script that I'm gonna to use to run FFmpeg. And then I want you to create a node script inside my scripts folder that this new progressive disclosure script should describe how to run using node. And node should just use like a child process to invoke FFmpeg to scale down the video. So why am I doing this whole progressive disclosure thing? If you keep your skill MD file very short and concise, you can have it act like a table of contents. So like, let's say someone wanted to learn how to scale down using Python or using Node or using Java. You could actually have different folders that describe how to do FFmpeg scaling in these different languages or libraries. So if someone were to pull your skill, not only would it work for Node, it could work for all the different languages that you're trying to support. And you could have very fine grained details of all the different languages, right? So we have a skill now, we have a script.md, we have a scripts folder, which I do believe this is in the wrong directory. I need to put it in my skills. And notice here in the skill.md, it points to Node scripts scale video, all right? And so hopefully you'll know how to actually reference that. Now, granted, this might be a silly approach. I'm sure the models already know how to use FFmpeg. So like having generating a script might not be that important. But the point is, is that now you can teach Claude code how to use particular scripts or runtimes or executables instead of it having to go and try to figure stuff out. Because as you've seen, sometimes it hallucinates, sometimes it gets stuff wrong. And you can actually have these skills be publishable to the internet. Other people can grab them and start running them. So now that we have the skill, I wanna put an MP4 file here and I'm gonna go ahead and type in slash skills and I wanna show you that we have an FFmpeg video scaling skill, right? And so what I could do is I could prompt Claude code, use the FFmpeg video scaling skill to scale down the one MP4 file I have in my directory into its smaller resolution equivalents. And then I'll go ahead and kick off this prompt. And now you should see that it's going to actually engage my skill and then it's going to use that skill MD file to dive into how it can use these scripts. And then it's gonna figure out that I'm gonna use Node probably. And then it's gonna actually run my Node script. It's gonna learn how to run the Node script. It's gonna pass in my MP4 file to the script. And then hopefully after this, we should actually see it list out all of our rendered lower resolution files. And now you can see here, it's actually running Node against my skill. It's running my scalevideo.js file. It passed in the original input video. And now we're getting a 720p output. We should be getting a lower output, the 480 soon. 
And there you have it. So that's how a skill kind of works. You have this directory that has a skill.md file that describes how it can reach into other things to do progressive disclosure, to really learn how to run the skill. And then you can have many different scripts. You can actually put CSV files in here. You can put data in here so that the skill can enact and engage different things when it needs it. And that's going to keep your context window small. The other really good benefit of this is that you can publish your skill to a marketplace, which if you actually type in slash plugins, and if I go to marketplaces over here, you can actually have a repo that stores all of your skills and your slash commands and whatever, and people can install that to their local Claude code instance and start installing your plugin. So if I wanted to make a marketplace for my skills, I could do that and people could download the web dev Cody marketplace and see all of the plugins and skills that I've published, but I'm not going to kind of dive into that in this video, maybe in a future video. And I really think becoming a power user of skills can make you a much better Claude code a developer or just a developer in general. That's about it. If you guys want more tips and tricks about agentic coding, go check out agenticjumpstart.com. This is my course. I have over 80 videos, 12 hours of content. I teach about cloud code. I teach about cursor. I give you a walkthrough of how I do agentic coding, my workflows. And then we build out a full stack web application using Drizzle, using Tanstack, using Postgres and get it deployed out to an actual environment. So I do think this is a really great value. Go check out agenticjumpstart.com if you're interested. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.